Welcome back. Well, social media is bound to be a major part of our collective history, both good and bad. And over the last three days, social media has been a big story in all media. Last Thursday and Friday, the major players, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all parted ways with the main account of President Donald Trump. And over the weekend, Google, Apple and Amazon effectively stopped Parler from existing in any real way online. Parler is a social network pro popular with President Trump's supporters and some conservatives. So with all of this action by big tech to silence some, many are asking a question. Is this fair? The first thing that is important to note about social media is that the platforms aren't truly a town square. They're hosted sites owned privately. That matters because these are private companies. The First Amendment of the United States does not apply to them in any way, shape or form. And remember, the First Amendment says Congress shall pass no law. It doesn't say Twitter or Facebook. It is Congress. Our free speech is only protected from government encroachment not from private encroachment. And just like no shirt, no shoes, no service, a site can refuse a user. A user also can get removed if she or he violates that site's policies. Where it would get tricky is if it was discrimination. And I asked Tim Johnson, a scholar in free speech, about that when it came to the case of Parler getting, in essence, deplatformed. Could a person or could a company like Parler sue the App Store for discrimination? It probably could. It probably won't be successful, right? There are only certain classes of people in this country that we protect at a very high level, and those are race, gender, and religion. A social media platform is not a protected class, nor is a political party. So the bigger question then becomes, is it fair to ban the president on these sites? And is it fair to basically handicap Parler out of existence. You know, it may not be fair, and, and we could have that debate um, until the cows come home if you would like, but it is not about fairness. It is about a company deciding to whom it would like to serve or for whom it would like to serve, if you will. And it is really up to them, whether it's arbitrary or capricious or both, to say who can be on their platforms or not. All of these actions come in the fallout of the riot at our U.S. Capitol last Wednesday, where people died and many placed in danger. The social media companies we are talking about all point to posts on their sites that incited that violence as the reason for what they've done this past weekend and parted ways. And while it may be legal for the companies to do what they did, again, the question is, is it fair? Or are conservatives being unfairly silenced? as was suggested many places today, including the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal. Pitting censorship versus keeping us safe against one another. And there's real gray area there, right? Because we all want to believe that we want to have fora uh, to be able to say anything we want, anytime we want. Um, but then there's this other side of it that says, well, but if you've got things like hate speech or incitement of, of, of violence, you don't want that to be protected. And that gray area is where do you draw that line? I don't think you or I or even the Supreme Court know where the tipping point is. How many posts do you need uh, before you say, oh, no, these are all going to incite violence? Is it just the, the one knucklehead who's within the group? Is it 10% of the knuckleheads? Or is it a majority of them? We don't know where that line is. And that's what makes this such a difficult discussion. But it is a discussion happening today and over the weekend. And speaking of today, a lawsuit was filed in federal court by Parler accusing Amazon of violating antitrust law. So the courts will weigh in on this issue at some point. And as always, we are open here on BTN to what you want to say or what you want to tell us about what you think. You can drop me an email if you like. My address is right there on the screen anytime. We'll be right back.